Hey, it's Eric Jones. Thanks for joining me on another episode of my uh, channel. You know, I get asked all the time, what am I going to do with the sawdust? Well, today I'm going to show you. Before we get started, I want to talk about the importance of a good mask, like a mask from Basecamp. This is a filtered mask. They uh, have interchangeable liners. And if you're dealing with sawdust, you should be wearing a mask because it is very hazardous to your lungs. So I'm gonna strap that on and we'll get started. Now these masks are really easy to breathe in and they're comfortable. So I totally recommend them. They're available in my link below. They are probably the best mask I've found for woodworking, so. Now for this project, you're gonna need a paint can and some type of cylinder. I'm using a piece of aluminum and that's just gonna hold the air channel. Then we're gonna pack this full of sawdust and you want really, really dry sawdust. And you're just gonna fill it up here Try not to knock your cylinder over. The key here is to pack it really tight. You want a lot of sawdust and you want it packed extremely tight in there so that uh, when you pull the cylinder out, it holds its shape. And I'm just using a uh, piece of wood to really pack it down. Just really packing down get as much sawdust as I can into this paint can. Now this is really hard to do with one hand so I ended up turning the camera off to take the cylinder out. You can see that the cavity is there and now all I'm going to do is shove a piece of paper in there. And I did cheat a little bit. I put some uh, lighter fluid on here just to make sure I got a good hot burn because it's important for the initial burn to really ignite the sawdust. It's going to smolder after that. Right, now you can't see a lot of flames, but there's actually a lot of heat coming off of this. Woo. So it's burning pretty good. All right, this is a good 30 minutes later and it's still uh, burning. You just can't see a lot of flame, but it's putting off quite a bit of heat. And it's kind of a handy little stove. Here we have an hour and it's still burning. It's a slow burn, um, but it's putting off some heat. These are great like in a little ice fishing house or when you're just out working in the yard and you need a little bit of heat to warm your hands up. It's a good way to get rid of some okay, sawdust. We're a good almost two hours and the heat is still really coming off and it's almost no smoke so you could you know put this on the outside of your shack or well unfortunately i was gonna let this burn as long as it would go but the rain has started so uh, only it only rains here in utah when you're trying to do something so <laughs> anyway it worked pretty good put off a lot of heat cleans up a lot of sawdust you can see i just shook it up a little bit just to kind of get it going you can see the coals in there. It is still burning like six hours later. That's pretty good. It's still burning and it survived a rainstorm even. Um, it's almost done now. The can is whoo, whoo, still hot to the touch. Um, it's, it's not as hot as it was, but it's still pouring heat. So we got about six, I'd say about six hours, seven hours of heat out of this can. Not bad for a little like stove. I appreciate you joining me. Uh, if you like what I do on this channel, please give me a thumbs up or uh, better yet, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We'll be doing more videos in the future and I will see you next time. Thanks, bye.